Today on Phil Billy Moonshine, we're going to show you how to take apple juice and turn it into wine. This is going to be the easiest wine you ever made. Got this three quart thing of apple juice down at Walmart for like a dollar fifty. I'm going to dump about a quarter of it out. I'm going to keep it just in case we need it. We're going to add in about a cup and a half of sugar. We're going to use BM 4x4 yeast. Put that sugar in there, shake it up real good. We're gonna add our yeast. I won't be adding any more apple juice back in. We'll make sure we leave a good air space on there. All right, we'll put this somewhere warm and see if we can make wine in a couple weeks. All right, now that the yeast in our apple juice stopped bubbling, we're going to go ahead and transfer it to a secondary and let it sit for a couple days and then bottle it. Get you one of these wands for like five bucks on eBay. All right, we're ready to bottle this. Um, we got this cool little siphon. We're gonna siphon this into some bottles. This thing's been cold crashed for two days. So hopefully it's it's got all the crap in the bottom. This was just a jug of apple juice with a cup of sugar and some yeast. Apple juice wine. Tastes good. Apple juice wine. It tastes crisp and good, but I don't like the way it smells. Besides that, the taste is excellent. But that smell could change. It's a mixture of alcohol and apples, I guess. It tastes crisp, clean, and good. I'd drink it. I'd drink a whole bottle of that. I don't think it smells bad. I smell the apples and the alcohol. That is really crisp. Tastes good. I can't believe how easy this was to make. Jug of apple juice and some sugar. There's some yeast that I know in this. I've been making wine forever. I'm drinking a bottle of that too.